All right, Whiskey versus Davido. Look, this drama is messy, and we did not see this one coming. Okay, even producer Don Jazzy is receiving straight bullet. Come on in, let's talk about this. Welcome back, Entertainment Daily Lovers. We're here with some celebrity gist. We are bringing you two big stars from Nigeria one, Davido, two, Whiskey. Okay, they are battling and they are hidden below the belt. Nothing is no, nobody's been careful about this but anyways if you're coming for the first time you're welcome don't forget to subscribe turn on your notification bell and let us dive right into this conversation right about now right now we talk about celebrity gist content creators gossip trending news and even more so join the family okay so one beautiful day the internet was just there relaxing <laughs> or they thought they were going to be chilling that day but then out of the blue, out of nowhere, Whiskey came out and threw a serious shade to Davido. And people were like, what is really going on? Like, where is this coming from? Why is Whiskey shading Davido? John, the next thing we saw, Don Jazzy received straight bullet also. And Whiskey did not stop at that. Whiskey even went ahead posting a video because y'all know Davido trended recently when, um, a US a US based, I don't know, influencer. I'm not quite sure what that lady does, but she's got massive booty, you know. <laughs> My black men inside we are big nyash day. <laughs> black men and big booty is five and six. If you know, you know. All right. So a video trended when that lady had posted a photo of herself and Davido hugging, and people started talking. And the next thing we saw, probably because they started dragging this lady, she posted, but although now she's claiming she didn't, but anyway, the lady posted a video of David on his knees begging that his bola, his cucumber, is actually suffering. She should give him some something. So <laughs> now Whiskey posted that video and said, Look at your favorite begging for Pekus, begging for you. No. Mm -hmm so since then it's been back and forth back and forth it took david a few days to respond to whiskey but david also did respond to whiskey so they've been going back and forth uh even don jazzy had something to say but don jazzy didn't go in too deep don jazzy just unfollowed whiskey and said a few things and left it at that but people have been dragging whiskey a lot of people were telling whiskey to go and apologize to don jazzy you know a lot of people see don jazzy as this peaceful person including myself i see don jazzy as this person that just minds his business and try to do what he needs to do in the entertainment industry so people were taking aback david o is loud whiskey is loud so one can understand if both of them are going back and forth i didn't stop at that Hmm. Even some of the U.S. Uh, bloggers are now talking about it. I think likes of the Shade Room and so they're also talking about this whole thing. And the Shade Room discussed how, no, sorry, the not the Shade Room. I think the Breakfast Club. Yes, the uh, Charlemagne the God. Yeah, the Breakfast Club. That's the big Breakfast Club, not Shade Room. Anyway, they spoke about how it seemed like Davido slapped a whiz kid at a concert in Dubai, and that did not sit with sit well with Whiskey. So Whiskey took to his Twitter and tweeted this two laughing emoji, like seriously laughing emojis, and he said, In your wildest dream, I wish a N word would you know, like try something like that, and he said, Jesus is king. He continued and said, This user no send una papa. In all things, give thanks. <laughs> Whiskey, Whiskey. Look, this looks like Whiskey is set to drop an album or something. That's why Whiskey is shaking the waters, okay? And best believe the waters in Nigeria entertainment industry is shaking in Africa. And now the US bloggers are jumping on it also. So the world is not paying attention. So Whiskey is going to drop something soon, I believe. Really, I think something is cooking for Whiskey to be talking like this. Then the video jumped in and the, the video said, uh 2020 i uh, said 2024 let's all get active we go see whiskey came in posted you know what no point delusional n words pray for y'all the video came back and said 
we not delusional you are a sick man so both of them are going back and forth and david like both, both of these guys are just nobody is backing down nobody wants to say at this point i'm just not going to respond there is so so much okay both of these guys are hidden below the belt whiskey posted that video people don't take in that whiskey is not even listening to anybody and that's not just the thing also uh why people were still trying to get whiskey to take down that video where david was begging for Bekus, where david was begging for you know begging that lady with a giant booty to uh give him something something uh whiskey went back and reposted the video again like seriously and now the lady came out and she actually apologized to nigerians remember the other american uh <laughs> the one with the very plastic face <laughs> the other american lady that one came in with huge insult there's no name she didn't insult she didn't call nigerians and africans she insulted and i was laughing i said you a person of color you've been insulting african <laughs> if they are roaches you too your roaches don't you understand <laughs> that that's where your roots you can deny it but that's it that's it that's where life started from so when you started shading when you start with the shading of you're shading yourself too because when they check your dna <laughs> oh boy anyway the other one came in very hot but this one is actually i think this one is a bit more reasonable and i'm saying a bit because i don't understand why number one she would post that kind of photo even if she had something to do with david knowing fully well that david is a married man i don't think she should have posted that photo where both of them were hugging of course people would think that they slept together knowing uh and davido's history that david can keep his thing in his pants right so i don't think she should have posted that photo but now she came out uh saying that she was not she posted the the photo but she didn't post the video where david was kneeling down begging her for her thing right that someone in her team did post that and she's no longer friends with those set of people because she didn't want that video to come out and she said she she has already reached out to davido's wife explaining everything to davido's wife to chef chi she even mentioned her name chef chi that she has reached out to davido's wife chef chi explaining everything giving her timeline technique, and everything that to explain and she apologized and she also apologized to nigerians saying that she did not come for nigerians people are giving her death threats that they should please stop she also sees what people are writing about her that they should please stop I would say people should slow down on, on this chick uh, drag her for you know but nobody should be threatening anybody's life it, it's not it's not it's not that deep because at the end of the day i feel like david's wife knew who she, she was marrying all these people that are marrying celebrities some of them live very reckless life that even before you marry them you've known their history you know that they're out there doing things so i feel like he would do these things and he will go and buy her an expensive million dollar diamond and whatnot so some people love crying in a in an expensive mansion other than in a hut so yeah so i I think that's the lifestyle Choma has already chosen Chef Chi. So let's leave it at that. Nobody should be threatening anybody's life because at the end of the day, if we have to look at it, I don't think this lady kidnapped Davido and said, you must do this thing with me or we must, you know, get down. Davido knew what he wanted, saw a huge booty and wanted to chase that booty. But Whiskey, do I think Whiskey should be dragging this uh, thing the way he's dragging it? I don't understand. Yeah, we know that there's been bad blood between these two, but they've tried their best to kind of keep it on the low, low, that even when they meet in uh, when they meet on uh, in an event, they are able to say hello to each other, shake hands, bump shoulders, and just move on. Okay, like they, they, they're, they're reasonable enough to be cordial when they're in public. So I don't understand how Whiskey, what really happened? because the video is there loitering around doing his thing what happened between the both of them that made whiskey to just um, at first i thought whiskey's account was hacked on on twitter but the way it's going it seemed like it is whiskey that is really doing this because you can see is whiskey's verified twitter that is tweeting these things and it's also david's verified account that is responding i'm going to flash some of these on your screen uh if i can uh but seriously if you go to instagram go to twitter it is everywhere you th in fact the the story is so much that some of these things i don't even want to bring it out here so let's just come in and discuss a little bit about this let me know in the comment section what do you think do you think people should leave this lady alone already now that she's claiming that she's not the one that released that video but another thing i want to ask is why did she even film that thing where david was kneeling down and begging her and you leave it in your phone knowing fully well that you will share your phone with your friends or people who have access to your phone or your computer or wherever you say 
save such things i don't know why people will save so that that's where i'm looking at it somehow but still nobody should be threatening anybody's life that's not that's not cool at all but if they want to drag her okay we, we can understand that but i don't i don't get it she shouldn't have just kept that stuff on her phone there was no reason begging someone that was asking you for something you will not be the first woman in this planet that a man is kneeling down to beg telling you that his bola is something something but whiskey take a chill pill too davido take a chill pill both of you get over yourself and make music that's what people want